It's been another busy week here at the Ray House. We've been doing lots of things with the house purchase, figuring out if we do or do not want to buy it and if it's going to be too much to tackle. Is it ever not a busy week at the Ray House? That's why I said another. Another. <laughs> in addition to the 52 or 51 other weeks in the year. Yes, they're all busy. We started off with organizing the shop space, adding some new pieces in. We just had a market over the weekend, so a ton of stuff had sold, so we needed to get that all freshened up. Moved into Wednesday with our Waste Not Wednesday. Yes. So Waste Not Wednesday, we did a big frame repair, and Jamie did her fun kind of French country with the IOD molds on the smaller frame. And I'm actually going to show you right now how we finished the big frame, and we have some other plans for it too. I'm doing a little bit extra white swan on here. I'm just gonna spray it, it's got a ton of details. This is that frame that I repaired on Waste Not Wednesday's live video. Okay, gonna let that dry, then I'll wet distress it, then I'm gonna seal it with some Sweet Pickens top coat, and it'll be done. Just a damp rag and some water. Time to rub back some of this white paint, bring some of the golden brown that was originally on the frame back through and then we'll seal it with some sweet pickings top coat I'll just spray that on and it'll be done and ready for the shop we have kind of some plans we might try to do something cool with this ourselves before we take it to the shop if we do we'll for sure show you The funny thing is, is that people, when they were watching me like do that frame, I had multiple people comment and say, I wasn't sure I was going to like that. I'm like, look, oh ye of little faith, I will make it look good. Or if it looks bad, then I'll just throw it away and nobody will know. Except for all the people watching the video. So I guess there's no secrets in my life. There's no secrets. We show everything. So Thursday we did the fun ombre finish on the mid-century modern dresser. So we're gonna go ahead and brush these drawers. We're starting out with Little Black Dress, Weathered Wood, Layered Chocolate, Prairie Gray, Sandy Blonde, and we're ending in White Swan. We've got six brushes clean so I can just get this knocked out. We did go ahead and wipe these drawers down so that way all the dust and any dirt is removed off of here, but no like heavy sanding or any prep other than just sanding off the Bondo and wiping it down. So we're doing two black ones because I had the order messed up. The top drawer is supposed to be white and we painted it black originally. So Jamie's gonna paint this one black and I'll spray that one white and we'll just swap the numbers out. Take two on this. We decided to switch up the direction of the ombre. I like it ending with a white on the top. So I don't really even know why we numbered the drawers because they're all going in different holes. So hopefully they're all the same size. They are, they work, I've tested them. Okay. Now some people have commented, hey, you need to move one of those drawers up or down. We've played with the drawers. The brown is like, it, it like is what looks, it is. It looks darker, but then when you switch it, then the other one looks darker. So we just went with what we thought looked best. But if you guys haven't um, seen the video, we actually purchased that dresser in New Mexico, hauled it all the way home, but it's probably one of the better made dressers that oh. we've actually purchased. And it's a good thing it was $15 because I don't think we said in the video, but that hardware was just over $50. Yeah, the hardware was expensive, that chrome hardware. Yeah, but I needed something that like matched the the shape and the like I design idea for that. So just like standard hardware wasn't gonna work. And then we had to get that video finished early because what did we do yesterday, Zeb? Yesterday we went through the house with the architect and we also had a plumber come out and look at all the pipes. He put a little scope with the camera snake in there all down through the sewer and the pipes in the house. So we've got some good video and a report on that so we can make decisions as needed. So we also did a full inspection this last week. 
We have a full video on the home inspection. If you're interested in watching like the nitty gritty details of this process, let us know below because we will be filming it and we're not really sure how much you guys actually want to see. So let us know. We've talked to the architect and he said that he wouldn't mind if we did some filming with him. So as we're going through the design, we can include that if you're interested. It is a little windy out, but we made it to the ReStore here. We're in Orem, Utah, and we're going to go see what we can find. Looking for building materials, cabinet stuff, all kinds of fun things. One of the fun things about the ReStore is they have all kinds of different lighting and things and stuff we can upcycle and change. Most of it's fairly inexpensive. Jamie's also looking at getting a double oven in that place. It's nice to know that they have them. They have actually have two options here for that. And it looks like they inspect them. This one's electric. So they test them, make sure they work. It's only $90 for that double oven. So we found this mantle at 60 bucks. It's kind of large for our space, but it's good to know the price range of things because when we look for a mantle, it'll be much less expensive to buy one already put together than to have to even just buy the wood to build one. How much are those toilets running? This toilet's pretty fancy and it is $45. So I feel like this, all of our toilets aren't gonna need to match in the house, right? So we can just come get like one toilet, another toilet. I like these sinks actually. They're like the bathroom. Yeah, those would be cool in like the top of a dresser because yeah, we're probably gonna use old dressers for vanities yeah. in all the bathrooms. That's way cool. They actually have quite a few of those here. So we say we're pre-shopping. We find out hopefully this afternoon if the loan is approved at the latest Monday. So we may be coming back and grabbing yeah, a couple of these sinks. For sure, because for that price, you can't beat it. And they'll work really great. Even if we don't wind up putting them on a dresser, they'll work, work really great if Zeb builds the cabinets for the bathrooms. One of the cool things about Habitat is they always have doors of varying sizes, which save a ton of money because you're talking 10 bucks a door as opposed to, I don't even know, what they cost. Like, like a foam core door down at Home Depot is about 70, 80 bucks for most sizes. Yeah, so you've got much less expense here. But you really could put cool. a doorknob on it. Bucks. Just a handle and a latch. Yeah, I like that. I want something like that for the This is a cool door with glass in it. Look, they have another one right this here. This door is only $65 worth. They have two. Oh, yeah, so is that the other side of it? Yep, so it's like a big French door with just glass oh, in it. that'd be cool for... Here, pull that out so we can see it good. It's heavy. It's actual real wood. So, we're thinking French doors for leading out to the backyard, and there's a pair of them. They're $65 each, which is a pretty good deal, and these are huge. So I really want to do transoms in the house and this would be a really great transom window above a double master bedroom door. That's huge. Yeah. <laughs> I always like to go through their building supplies. They always have lots of plumbing parts and electrical and it's usually really cheap. See any hardware or knobs you can't live without? Four dollars for a whole pack. Yeah, it's a dollar a knob. I mean, they're not my favorite, so I probably won't pick them up. But it's good to know that they have them because sometimes I'm looking for porcelain knobs. It's like a whole bundle of spindles here. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. How much are they? I don't know. They're all different. Yeah, it won't work for a banister. Well, not necessarily a banister, but we could do like a tiered tray for Waste Not Wednesday. They got new old posts here. So if you're building your own cabinets, this is actually really good pricing. Drawer slides are what eat up your cabinet budget and your drawers and everything like that. So it's a good idea to come down and grab those here. Or if you just need like a replacement on something you're working on, just one drawer slide, there's a good chance you can find something good. So I got rid of my router table a little while back because it, it was really big, just taking up a lot of space and I didn't use it very often. But I'm gonna pick this up. It's only $5. It's a nice aluminum cast router table. I was just seeing if they had any cool ones just for like repurposing. I don't think we'll be putting any old windows. We wanna get nice double pane windows so that they're energy efficient. This is a tub shower combo, but we don't necessarily love the style on it. If anything, we'll probably buy a separate tub and then tile in 
the shower. Although this would be quick and easy. Just whoop. Yeah, just throw it in. Yeah, this tub's brand new. It's just been sitting out here. I don't see a price on it. Not even been used. Metal tub, porcelain. Deb says these are too big. However, we're looking at lighting up our garage like crazy, so it's better for filming. So these would actually be amazing for the garage. I like that one. I know you like this one. There's only one of those. All right, so I found these lemon bowls. They're not old, but they're super cute. A dollar each made by Royal Norfolk. What about this cherub? It's got a cute bottom. Cherub? Cherub. I, it's missing oh, its, it's trumpet. Broken. Can't, can't have a chair without its trumpet. Nope. So I've been looking at the Home Depot for a grass edger, and this is not furniture related, but Harrington's gonna be so happy I found this. <laughs> He's our lawnmower, but we did find this basket. No price on it, but I'm thinking about a dollar. I like the shape. Jamie spied a trunk over there, $20. I think it looks cool, let's grab it. It. Love it. It's all kinds of crusty. Mm. It's not as cool as I thought. I think somebody actually painted it. Like, that's why it's coming off. I don't know. It's, well, it's got the good wear on it. So. All right. Chippy white colander. We're buying it. Deb, how are you feeling about today's haul? It's a, it's a mixed bag, but I think we got some good stuff. It's like industrial, crusty. Super ornate, a little bit of a beehive jar there, and you know, a lawn edger. I'm gonna make a little salvage box that this sits on top of, it should be cool. Sweet. If you like our channel and you're interested in extra information of all the behind the scenes, make sure to click the link for the channel membership. We've got extra videos, printables, all kinds of things that you can get with channel membership. Go to jamierayvintage.com, that's where you're gonna get all your paint DIY products and things of that things. All the fun things. All the fun things. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.